Hello. So today we are going to play a rhythm, a pattern uh, with your newly acquired push skills. Okay. So the pattern is very simple. It goes dum duwa duwa dum duwa duwa wa. Okay. One one two one two one one two one two three one one two one two one one two one two three dum duwa duwa dum duwa duwa wa. Okay. First of all, you have to be able to play it um, like in very basic droney version. But even if it sounds a little bit um, not clear, it's fine. You know, because we will go for the big movements. Um, you can um, like uh, go for some clarity and harmonics here, but this is not what it is about. So I'm happy if you play it like this. Um, as long as you can recognize that it's that pattern, you know, and that it repeats every what it is eleven. You can breathe wherever you want, but most of most of the time you will breathe on some wa, right? Because that's the most logical place. Now, however, I want you to play it in such a way that you push on the doom, okay? That you break through that drone. So there needs to be this audible air, just poof, okay? A lot of transients coming out there, um, and it's almost like your drone will break at that place, you know and the rest is more relaxed. So instead of just having this one dynamic line, I want you to create bumps with a pre-compressed, and you need to watch that video as well, pre-compressed doom, okay? So instead of playing, I want you to play, And this will be your um, test of your skill of pre-compressing and then really relaxing because then you go into drone. Great exercise. You will breathe a lot. Um, you will um, have to strengthen your lips to withheld that uh, push uh, of air and it's overall great exercise. But to make it even greater, you can do the toot and the wah. And this will be more difficult uh, uh, to make a push like that because when you're uh, making the toot, your embouchure, it stretches, it becomes thinner and uh, with more pressure. And you need to reverse it back into thicker embouchure for the push, to withheld the push. And it asks for a more flexibility in the face, okay? And you have to play it quite aggressively. This is the way this exercise is. Okay, so you don't have to play like this all the time, but in this exercise, you have to push aggressively. And I want your um, toots to be thick, fat, juicy, real toots. Okay, the trumpet tones, this, <laughs> these guys. All right, let's do it. <laughs> recommend this exercise. It's a great exercise for building power, for building flexibility, uh, for endurance. You can play it for 10 minutes straight and see if you survive or ambulance has to come uh, for you. You should feel after five minutes of playing this exercise, you should feel, uh, you know, invigorated. You should feel fresh. You should feel powerful. If you feel um, weak and pathetic, Probably you're not pre-compressing properly. This would be my first guess. My second guess would be that your embouchure is not right and you're just losing too much air. And after that, I think you should get a lesson. If it's neither of these two, you need someone to uh, watch you 
and tell you what you're doing wrong because you should feel um very very good after this of course not after five minutes practice that you have five perfect minutes but after a while if you're practicing this for uh, like a month and you're still feeling quite weak when you do it you need to change something it has to feel very good you know very powerful empowering okay the last um level that we're going to do with this today would be um to change the toots you know you do maybe first toot second toot third toot that's enough and you will find it more challenging because um, the higher toots you go the more you have to stretch your face and then you have to quickly unstretch it quickly relax it and push again and it will be more difficult to get that very good uh, push if you are on the third toot I mean the third toot is not very high but in this in this exercise it is a little bit high because the way you surround it by pushy drones makes it quite more difficult you know it would be way easier if you just do it from the second to it or something like that when it's close close together but here you have to go like relatively opposite uh, in terms of what your face has to do and quite opposite in terms of what um, air from the body has to do but it's a great exercise of, for control, for flexibility and so on. Here it goes. It's very simple to understand, but it's not that simple to implement, as you will probably see. I'm using Moitz in this uh, a video and I can recommend it for this kind of exercises especially it has very good uh, balance between how much air it can eat and how much sound it makes from that air but you don't want a too close ditch for this exercise it has to be able to eat some of that air from the push okay that's it spiral out uh, subscribe and keep digging what 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 more there is to life I mean